pillow. It's messed up. And we're live. Are we? I think we live. I think we might be live. Are we? Let's see if we guess. Of course, y'all know we got to check sound and visuals, man. Shout out to the OG trash talkers. Y'all know who you are. Let's we, see here. Can y'all hear us okay? Can y'all see us okay? Yeah. Are we? Are we live? Are we live? Shan, you, there's no need to be a smart ass, okay? <laughs> Uh, now wait. Are see. we live? Are we live? Can y'all hear us? I gotta get through. Carter the ads. says yes. <laughs> Got ads? I'll tell you that. Damn, thirty percent. Ah, okay, there you yes. go. Thirty percent of the show. What's up to the trash talkers out there? Yeah. Shout outs come out first. Marissa North off in this thing. What's up? What's up, girl? Linda Coy off in this thing. Krista Speck, Michael Nicholas, Shan Five, of course. Carter. Oh, Carter. I'll What's up, Carter? I, we got Adrian in here. Adrian Siegel. Yeah. We Adrian. got uh, Smokey Ramirez. Wait. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we got Uncle Triad in this thing. Mike the Motormouth. Lucas, speaking to you yeah. directly, sir. We were sending prayers and positive vibes away, and we are so happy that mm -hmm. you're doing better. Shout Absolutely. Out. Shout out to you. And Jason kept us informed the whole time. So Jason, shout out to Jason. Yes. If, mm -hmm. if, do us a favor and go to Jason and tell him, hey, brother, you're a real friend because that dude kept us in the loop. So shout Absolutely. out to Jason. Shout out Don Stewart. Shout out Edward Riviera. Shout out Ty Kircher. Shout out uh, Stephanie Washburn. What's up with you, girl? Uh, Nick H. Is up. Nick H. What's up? KP off in this thing. Jerry yeah. Brad Sawyer. Bill Collins. What's up, fellas? Listen, Spiral Out Sunday. Y'all can ask us whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Y'all know we sit here, we talk crap, we post polls, we yeah. we whatever you guys want to know a poll about. If y'all want to think or uh, find out what the consensus is of the trash talkers, we post that. We actually have some unboxing to do. Yeah. Um, shout we out to uh, Tracy Dillingham. Uh, shout out from Las Vegas. Uh, yeah. Susan. Susan off in this thing. Yeah. We got a Kevin Kelvin Clark. Kelvin yeah. Clark. Yeah. Karima Upton. Yeah. Adam Long. Lozano, shout out to you. Rock Nest Monster. That's a great Rock one. Nest Monster. That's <laughs> awesome. JX2, Jesse Farmer, Jason Seeks. There he is. Why are you at work, JX2? Yeah. yeah. Where, and where are you from? Because right now here, it's 7 o'clock. Well, some people work the night shift. You prefer night shift or day shift? Uh, day these days. When I was younger, I preferred night. Dude, I worked a job where I drove a big, big old... Uh, uh, loader, uh -huh. a loader, you know, you pick up dirt, yeah. bro. It was from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And that was, oh man, and that, that, bro, that was, uh, that ruined the relationship that I was in because we mm -hmm. lived together. And she's like, you work all night, you come home and you sleep all, sleep day. all day. And I'm like, yeah. that's how it goes. Man. I did the same thing. I, I used to drive a truck overnight, this, uh, route through Birmingham, Alabama, or Alabama. It was all Alabama. Actually, I would leave Decatur. I would go out to Anniston, Alabama. Then to Birmingham, then all the way up to Fort Payne, back to Anniston, and then back home every night. And it was a 12 hour Jesus. round trip. And after a while, man, I just couldn't even stay awake driving. Man, shout out Ken. Ken, how do you, what's the proper way to say his last name again? Oh, Bober. Ken Bober. We have yeah. your gifts, so we're going to open them very soon. Absolutely. Jay, Jay Floyd. Floyd. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, I, Bruno Tonalino, shout out to you from Portugal. Yeah. Mercy. Mer Mer Merce the Gray? Merced Merced Ogre. The... Merced Ogre, maybe? Odger? Uh, uh, um. How you pronounce that name? Merce? Yeah, Merce. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> say that. Linda Coy says, me too, Shane. What do we talk about today? Listen, I, I, I want to say something real quick. And Merced Ogre. Yes, there so, it is. Merced. All right, can I, can I ask you a question? Mm. I, I want to ask you a question first. And Trash Talkers, I want y'all to sh chime in on this. Okay. Weird. What do, you, uh -huh. what do you think about getting into a relationship, right? Uh -huh. And you're working your butt off to get to a final goal. But that person wants the final goal that you're in a relationship immediately. But they don't. So here's where you are. Here's the final goal. But they don't they don't realize all this in the middle that it takes. So obviously, I'm not going to see you. I'm not going to work. I'm, I'm going to be busy all the time. What do you think about relationships that, hey, I don't want to. I want it now. You know, like it's like, well, if you want it, you have to give me years to get there. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah. What? What? What's the context here? Like, what are we trying to get to? I guess I'm bringing somewhat personal in here. It's like, do you the 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 work that you put in uh -huh. is necessary to get where you're trying to go, right? Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people don't see it that way. You know, and it's like, yes, you you yeah. you might be seeing me for two hours a so day. You can't start at the finish line. 
Ooh, bars. <laughs> Wish you could sometimes, but it just don't work that way. You can't start at the finish line. Thank you, mm -hmm. Carter. You, they, man, listen, I've had people that I've known, not only just relationships, not friends, not family, coworkers, but they're like, oh, well, I want this now. And I'm like, dude, there's a reason we can't go to the bar tonight. There's a reason <laughs> yeah, I can't go exactly. out. I have to work. Now, yeah. you give me five. You want to do whatever you like, then you got to wait. You Exactly. Maybe five, right. ten years. Yeah. yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Kevin McCain said, as long as the finish line is not too far away, you should be enjoying the journey, my man. There you go. Oh, we're enjoying it, man. Mm -hmm. Susan, Mary, an old an oil rigger who works 12 hours. See, shout out. That's what I'm talking about right there. Shout out, Susan. Mary, an oil rigger who works 12 hour shifts and 10 day stretches. That's what I'm mm. saying. She respects the work yeah. that it takes to. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm coming too personal here. Like if your partner is a long haul trucker, yeah, you know, you know they're going to be gone most of the week. Yeah, I mean, or, or entertainer, you know, anything like that. You're good. You think about Tom Brady's relationship. Oh my god, that's you know? probably. But think about him. See now, oh, if we said that, the reason she probably broke up with Tom Brady, I'm sure it has something to do with him being the competitive nature, not being at home. <laughs> but he's like, I'm out here winning freaking he's Super Bowls, freak, man. <laughs> and then he's like, you're not complaining when I buy you this bag, like. Yeah. And Marissa, yeah. Marissa says, uh, my ex husband taught our son to say "Go Eagles" before. Wow. So your kids <laughs> first. Marissa, wait a minute. Your kids' first words was not mama. It wasn't wasn't dada. It was go Eagles. Honestly, if I had a kid, I'd be like, hey, East Atlanta or go Falcons or something like that. Yeah. Six. How's that work out for Brady? That's what I'm saying, Linda. Yeah, exactly. He's he's he he's been put in how many years has Brady played? 23, I think. And has she she in the she, NFL? I mean, that doesn't count college. And, yeah, let's that. let's yeah. not. Because, you know, we say we don't bring politics and religion. We kind of need to keep that out of here, too. Like, when it... Mm, what's that got to do with politics and religion? I guess relationships we can talk about, right? Yeah, why not? I mean, because think about it. I mean, he's he's one of the most... Yeah, I mean, it's hard to talk about public relationships like that because we don't know the whole story. Yeah, but I guarantee... Or I can't say I guarantee, but I'm sure she's like, you're never home. She's <laughs> like, Re Nichols. what is it? <laughs> oh, wow. I'm going to show that. <laughs> I'm gonna show that. Y'all just read what Michael Nichols says. Yeah, yeah, but we'll we'll get off of that, man. Tommy Buzzcat off in this thing. Totally yeah, not. the shirt is from They Live. Yeah, yeah. Y'all hit that thumbs up button real quick. You want to open up some gifts that we got? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, I will send you the first one. Mm -hmm. and oh, I guess I need the knife out, huh? The rusty, trusty trash talking knife. Yeah. Terry Eric says, my husband used to say, you can't start at the top and work your way down until, man, y'all coming at him when it is. Right. Uh, until you feel comfortable. Andrew uh -huh. Smoker says, we don't know what goes on, but that's very true, Andrew. Exactly, yeah. Jay, um, Marissa says, look, man, love Sade, 100%. Mm -hmm. um, real quick, before we open this box, and shout out Ken... Ken Bober. Bober. Yes. I thought it was Bober, but shout out Ken Bober for yeah. sending it. Wait, my address isn't showing. On no, it's on the other okay. side. But um, no, and shout out Happy Slip. But um, dang it, what was I about to say? Um, freak, what was I Tribe oh. dropping bars tonight. Yeah, for yeah. real. Jesse Farmer, two rocking grannies, Jeff. You see, we keep y'all with us. You yeah, see that right there? Absolutely. We keep y'all with us, yeah. bro. And the, the trophy. And the and the trophy, man. Yeah. Shout out to rocking Granny Jeff. Absolutely. Tell uh tell the grannies I'm still waiting on that that peach cobbler. Yeah. I'm waiting on that peach cobbler. Yeah, we about to unbox Tommy. Yes. Look, before we do that though, I want to say um, God dang it, I had it and I lost it again. Uh oh, we were looking it up. Mm -hmm. And we did Mad Season today. Came out today at six. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. Ask that question. Because uh, when we first heard of Mad Season, we googled the members a long time ago, and it actually let me bring this up actually because we Google some, actually says. I mean, we got called out. We got some comments, and we want to yeah. know what the tribe thinks. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna go and post this poll to see. All right, I want to give you the members that when you just Google members of Mad Season, here's what they list: Lane Staley. Mark Lennigan, John Baker Saunders, Mike McCready, Chris Cornell, no. Barrett Martin, Duff McKeegan, Matt Cameron, and uh, Sherrick. Sher right. So the question is, in, in, the, in the video, we were getting comments that people were saying, we get, I feel cringy whenever you guys mention Chris Cornell. Yeah. 
was Chris Cornell in Mad and Google season? says it. So here's what happened is there was like a um a, a concert years later, mm -hmm. like years later down the road where Duff and Chris Cornell filled in. So technically they were not members, but they had a performance. So Google listed them as members. So that's where we got Chris and Duff. Yes. Okay. See, mm -hmm. only for a reunion. See now yeah. I knowing Marissa, Marissa being an OG trash talker, I would say she's qualified to speak on Grinch. Would you yeah, say that? Absolutely. I mean, is yeah. that she, Marissa? Aren't you from? She's Seattle? from Seattle. Yeah. yeah. I would say she has the qualifications to speak on it. So, are we right? Can we say Chris Cornell was a part of Mad Season? Yes or no? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's the question. Is do you consider them part of the band because they did that reunion? Damn. Billy Bong says no. Rock Miss Monster says yes. Kevin says saw Chris Cornell front row and had a nice experience. Oh, I bet. You guys should check out Striper Mercy. Mm. Damn. Apparently, no. So y'all watching the Rihanna concert with special appearances, the Dragon Lee 23. Bo. Oh, Jeremiah Sawyer. He says Bo. So I guess it's no. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we were wrong. Yeah. Maybe we can't. I mean, technically we were because they weren't in the original Inception. But, hey, we're just explaining why we got that wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And we were wrong. Yes. But Google actually says it. You can Google it right now. Uh, members of Mad Season. And, and, and it brings it up. Not only that, but we, we're we we're still new to this. We're still yeah. learning. We're still yeah, trying, we're to, trying to learn who was in there. Exactly. So mm -hmm. when we get these comments, we're not looking at them as a negative Thing. We're looking at them as an informative thing. It's a learning. It's, thank yeah, you. it's a learning process. Okay, let's uh, Dobby the French. He says, you haven't reacted to my video. Almost two months have gone by. Would you like to expound on that or should I? Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes it takes more than two months, as a matter of fact. We do four, is it four Patreons a week? At, at this point, we're putting out nine videos a week. But yes, yeah. four of them are Patreons. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you can go to Patreon right now and look the the suggestions list and see how many people are in line. And you can see which ones we've done recently yes. and see how long it is till we get to yours. Yes. And and the way it works is make sure you put it on the suggestion thread. Yes. You may not be a Patreon member now, and that's fine because you were a Patreon member. But because you were a Patreon member at one point and put your suggestion on the su suggestion mm -hmm. thread, we will get to it. Yes. You have exactly. to understand that it, it, this is, this takes a lot of editing and working mm -hmm. and recording, but I promise you, if you were a Patreon member, we will get to your video yeah. at some point. I promise you. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice if we could, like everybody who signs up instantly gets a reaction that week or whatever. I mean, we but could make a new tier. Uh, maybe. Yeah. You want to, no, uh, we haven't hashed it out yet, but I mean, we could make it. We could either way. If you're yeah. a Patreon member, you're going to get it, but it's just mm -hmm. going to take time. Yeah. I mean, there may be uh, a point where we can make a new tier and extradite the situ the, the process. Yeah, Meaning yeah. you guarantee get one within 30 days. Mm -hmm. you guarantee. But it, it takes a lot. Of, like, Thanks I know. Yes, I know yeah. it. I know it seems easy to just turn on the camera and sit on in front of a microphone. But there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. And we appreciate y'all sticking with us. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. sh we did have a problem uh, in the early days of Patreon where they didn't take the money out whenever you sign up yeah. instantly. And people would request a song. And then leave and never actually get right. any money but in now, the end. But now yeah. that Patreon's has suggested it, and if you put it on that suggestion thread, even if you leave, mm -hmm. we still see it and we will still get to it. So Absolutely. We got you, buddy. Promise yeah. you. Shout out to Theory on Bloodsword. He says, going to see Mastodon, Gojira, and Lord. Yes, as a matter of fact, I am going to see Mastodon, Gojira, and Lorna Short in May. <laughs> yeah. They coming straight to Atlanta. I am definitely going. A thousand yeah. percent. Smoke out. You got your uh, knife on you? I got the knife, man. You want to open or you want me to open it? Uh, let me let me pop that. Show my address, please, sir. Yeah, I'm not gonna show it. Go ahead. You you ain't shit if you don't. You ain't you if you don't if you don't show it. You ain't sh your address. You ain't sh if you don't do it. I bet you won't. I bet you. It's your address. <laughs> it ain't mine. No, don't do that, bro. <laughs> Two Rock, hey, Two Rock and Granny Jeff. He said saw Lorna Shore a few months ago. Show, dude. Let me tell you something. I've interviewed Will. Will Ramos is, and this shout out to Ken Bobber for this. Um, uh, gift that he sent here but mm -hmm. yes uh i've spoken to will and apparently we've got some um some things in the talk about that here. tommy said oh let's get the shout outs for this also 
because we want to get the names right. Of course, Ken Bober. Well, that's who this one's from, right? Yes, but it's not only from him. Oh, Otko. Yes. Isn't that what the message said? Yes. Let me bring it back up. Tommy says, barbecue at Hollywood and Smokey's Trash Talkers. Man, look, somebody, I'm too busy. Smokey too busy. If y'all figure out a way to make a, a meet and greet, I swear we'll, we'll be there. If y'all figure <laughs> out a way. Rasta Thomas says, did y'all do a judgment night reaction? Biohazard and Onyx. I'm sorry, am I interrupting? No. Go ahead. Uh, it's also coming from Giovanni Bucci. Oh, shout out to the Giovanni. band. Hotco. And um, this came up because... Uh, you were, um, wait, why am I blanking on the name? Uh, Flesh God Apocalypse video. Oh. Yes. Dude, did someone not just mention Flesh God Apocalypse? Oh, sh I don't know. Shout out Susan Botwanski. Let's All see right. what we oh, got. Yeah. I want to see what we got. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Just, just throw the box. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. oh, we got stuff in here. Is that a bag, right. though? This is a Mega Death <laughs> Backpack. Oh, that Ken appreciate that, yeah. dude. Yeah. Oh, there's in it stuff. So some passes in here. I don't see the backpack. Dude. I am, I am wearing this when I go see Ooh. Lorna Shore and Gojira and that. <laughs> oh, sweet. This Ooh. is a signed Rob Zombie pass. What? You see the signature there. Damn, Ken. Thank you, Broski. Yeah, dude, and this guy like the little damn kid. And this is a VIP pass oh my from gosh, this is dope. the Mega Death 2020 tour, 2022 tour, dude. And they came to Georgia, man. Shout out Rob Zombie. What's <laughs> yeah. this one? Is so we got a, a, a Rob Zombie signed by from Ken mm -hmm. and a Mega Death VIP tour passes and. The backpack. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's some. Oh, wait, 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 bro. Sweet. There's some. Oh, there's some pics Yeah, in there. shout out Shan. We still got the pics from all the. Yeah. We got a. And is that? Oh, is that not? Is that Dave Mustaine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a Dave Mustaine pick. Yeah. We got a. Yeah, it's got the Megadeth logo on it. Megadeth pick? Yeah. And uh, another Megadeth pick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Got... There's a rubber band in here. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Does it... Dave Mustaine wore this rubber band? Ken, what's up with the rubber band, dude? Oh, is this the set list? I don't know. who. I want to know who wore the rubber band. That's where I want to know. This looks like the, the set list for Mansfield, Massachusetts. Megadeth, right? Holy Wars, yeah. Heck yeah. Ken, salute, man. Ghost. Yeah. Is. I'm sure I'm on uh, two rock and granite Jeff and sure someone has mentioned already, but I know you guys got got to be on uh, red and uh, yeah, man. That's yes, yes, soon. yes. That's coming out this week. Wait, pan. What you talking about, Mike? Tomorrow? Falling in reverse. Hollywood oh. won't won't want it. What are you talking about, pan? What did pan say? You guys want a signed bottle of haters breed? God dang, I do not like. Actually, since I got COVID, I'm actually a fan of hot sauce now, dude. Okay, yeah, I've always loved it. Thank you for the pics, and we got what else we got in there. This is visionofdisorder.com. Is it a stick? Oh, okay. Dude, oh, I wonder that's if that's fire. Yeah. It's like a chick playing the violin. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. And this is a signed Butcher Babies. Oh, CD. Butcher Babies. Oh, it's signed too? <laughs> yeah. Beast mode. Yeah. By the way, Ken just said that this was a. It was just holding the posters together. So we got some posters, ah, actually. Gotcha. Damn it, man. I'm wearing this to the concert, Broski. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Monsters Ball. That is amazing. I'm putting this on right now, bro. You got my <laughs> stuff. Definitely rocking this. There you go. Heck yeah. Got the Butcher's Baby sign, like you said. All right. So from the messages from Ken, this one. Is mine. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that is Odco. fire. Have y'all ever heard of a band called Odco? We're doing it. Look. Yes. We're doing a reaction. Yes, y'all definitely we're definitely checking them out. Yeah. 
God, dude, that's well, do I? He didn't give me one. Yeah, I got one too. Yep. Oh my God, the chick playing the cello on y'all. <laughs> what you talking about? What you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Look at her, bro. She playing the cello. Damn, broski. Well, if y'all know of Odka, what band, what what song do we do? What's that? I think you gave us a suggestion of what song to do. Okay, cool. God, man, we love you guys, man. Oh, it's a mega dead hat. I don't mind if I do. It's like a let me get it. Hat. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Ken, you done you done <laughs> effed him up with this one, brother. <laughs> yeah. You done eff- well, I'm out here looking like a buddy from uh, Gilligan's Island on y'all. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh, that's hot. That's hot. Killing right them with it. I'm <laughs> yeah. killing them with it. Yes, sir. Ski. Oh, we gonna wear these shirts when we do the reaction. Yes, bro. I might <laughs> yeah. wear this to Gojira, man. Yeah. Damn this hat, bro. I don't even wear bucket hats, but this is fire. All right, where was that posters? Oh, we got posters bro. too. Yeah. yeah. So we got this one here. All right. Just split this. Okay. We got a Megadeth. Look at that. Oh, it's signed. Oh, sh- dude. By th- one, two, oh, three people. By four members. Oh, four. You're right. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Damn it, Ken. Why you going you about to make me crown here, bro? Ken Shoot. is killing it. We got one more. One more for Ken. All right. Ooh. Oh, this is definitely going on the wall. I want that on my wall <laughs> at the house. You, Jesus. You know what? We're full here. Unless we use our wide lens camera, please take this. We might out. have to start layering stuff here. We could use the listen. We we're gonna have to try that. Yeah, we should put the wide lens on so we can fill up the rest of the area. Yeah, we got a wide lens uh, camera where y'all can see more. We might have. Yeah, so we can fill up the rest of the area, dude. That is an amazing poster. That is hard. Hell yeah, can appreciate that, broski. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I can't wear to wear the shirt though. Yeah. All right, we got something else. Yeah, we do have something else. This. Uh, Man, today feel like Christmas. I'm gonna read these comments while you're doing that. I gotta make sure I get the name right. All right. Shout out Zeno the Wise, Theory and Bloodsworn. Thank you again so much for that two dollar donation. Sleep token, any songs? Absolutely. I'll tell you a band that me and Smokey have been jamming out on is Lucid Planet. Oh yeah, Lucid Planet is yeah. fire. They're an underground uh, prog um, psychedelic band, but can I uh, just for one second? We did a suggestion by them and. That's how we got into Lucid Planet. Can I interrupt for one second? Okay. Right. Um, Kevin Clark says, is that a game on the background? Actually, this is a limited, because I'm a big gamer. This is an, a limited edition Game Boy because it's the Pokemon version with Pikachu and the Pokeball and Togepi and Jigglypuff. And guess what comes with it? Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> and guess what else comes with it? And yes, it works 100%. And I got my Pikachu that his tail lights up. Let's see. Wait. <laughs> okay, maybe I can't do it. He don't light up anymore. <laughs> no, it lights up. But... Yeah. I can't do it on that. But yes, it yeah. lights. Yeah. All right. And one more thing we got comes from over on Patreon, Ali Raza. And he says, this was his message. He says, have you seen the Opiate 2 Blu-ray? I would expect a YouTube block. To uh, YouTube Wait. to block and upload with the video Wait, or we, even audio from we, it. We did Opia 2. Yes, we did. But he's saying this is the Blu ray uh, commentary track with it. Wait, what? Yeah. It says, which you should watch after the full video. If you do not have a copy, I will send you one. Shout and out it just so happens that he sent us one. Oh, Broski. Yeah, let's pop this over there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Opiate 2. Is it Opiate or Opiate 2 squared. or Opiate Squared? Yeah, I think Squared. Damn it, man. This is freaking Christmas. All right. I'm sure some of you guys have already seen this before, but just to share it with you. What is it, have just it. pictures? Yeah. Damn, man. It's like a visualizer book. And it has... The Blu-ray. Oh it. no, it does, <gasps> bro. 
So yeah. wait, is that video? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna borrow that next weekend. Yeah, definitely. And can we'll swap it out? Yeah. Alaraza, so we need to check this out. Yeah, Alaraza. Alaraza, thank you so much for that. Damn, man. I hope he's in the comment. I don't know if he's in the comments tonight, but if y'all know Alaraza, yeah. Him out. If you see him in the comments, let him know that we did open it on Spiral Out Sunday for him. Uh, shout out yeah. to uh, Michael Nicholas, man. Mick, Michael Nicholas for the five dollar donation. He says, "React to Ren, you won't regret it." Ren, you like? <laughs> yeah, Ren is coming up now. Yeah, you're a Patreon <laughs> member, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're a Patreon yeah. member. It's coming. It's coming. Just stick around and stay tuned. I promise you, it's coming. Even if you're not the Patreon member that requested it, it has been requested on Patreon. Yes, Kelvin, that is a Game Boy, hundred percent. Also, a Nintendo sixty four under it. Yeah, look at this. Dude, Tool. Tool has That's the cool. craziest imagery, man. I'm not going to say certain things because of YouTube and appropriate and inappropriate things you can't say. Mm -hmm. But this, not this weekend, but the weekend before, Tool is one of the greatest bands ever. Dude. Absolutely. I'm sorry, but when you just sit there with Look at the, that. You sit there with the lights closed and just, I mean, the lights closed. Lights closed. The lights off and just listen to Tool. Tool <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Shout out Jeremy Vega. He said you would like to react to one of the. Man, we got to get some more Cradle Phil. Tool is performing or, or touring again, right? From what I heard. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Keep it real. You know what? I'm gonna, about to make this. A, uh, I think poll. they were setting up a new tour. I want to make this a poll because I've seen it everywhere. Let's see. Let's see what the trash talkers say. A new. It already had those in there. I know. You have to type it, though, or else it's not Really? Yeah. Let me see what y'all... Because I've seen this before. And Marissa says North again. Someone we can... Okay, Pussifer's yeah. coming back. Man, I want to see Pussifer, Perfect Circle, and Tool, dude. I literally... All right. the A Perfect Circle 13 stud, that's just the case. It's in my truck. Mm -hmm. The CD the CD is in my truck. I mm -hmm. just let it ride. Yes, Adrian. I hope they come in the ATO for real. Yeah, because they didn't last time. Yeah. By the way, if you're a Patreon member, if you guys want to go ahead and go over to Patreon, I'm going to post up what tomorrow's video is. Uh, again, thank you to all our Patreon members. And that's mm -hmm. one of the perks you get. And we're thinking about starting another tier that's going to give you more perks than this. And let's see. As soon as I can find it. There we go. Yeah. This is info for me too ah okay i see now if you're into the, listen i'm posting this on patreon okay and if you're yeah. a patreon member don't spoil it okay yeah exactly <laughs> yeah don't spoil it yeah if you're a patreon that's but you will know yes, yes you will know that is, there you go mm -hmm. there we go all right mm -hmm. back to these comments so yeah let's get on some comments here Damn, everyone's so I put is Tool releasing a new album. 66% says no. Shout out to the sixes, but damn. Susan Botswanski says, I saw two days. I saw like two days after 9 11. Wow. Mm. Hmm. Jeremiah Sawyer Tool, yes. I was told to whenever you write Tool to put it all in capital letters. Like you don't put T, capital T, lowercase O, lowercase O. Why is that? I don't know. I'm just as new. Hey, you guys you inform were. us. Yeah. I, I was told to make that capitalized. Just yeah. her, uh, Hebert, you guys should check out a band called Deathlock. Death. Didn't we did Death Clock? Oh, that was the Metalocalypse band. Shadow Zone says, says, I'd love to be a Patreon member. He says, I'd love to be a Patreon member, but had a bad experience with another user. Listen, we, nah. we, we going to keep it real with you. We ain't about, we don't do bad business. We just going to let you, we yeah. keep it real here, you know? Yeah. And we let you know up front that, you know, we, we can't promise the world, but we will do our best and, for you. And if you are a Patreon member, you stick around, it will get done. Mm -hmm. We can promise you that. Um, Zaya Mary, have y'all ever watched the Tool the Pot video? No. We, to, we got to go back through the video. Thank you. Yes. To the Tool Gators, to mm -hmm. the to the tribe out there. 
there are so many tool videos, mm -hmm. so many a perfect circle videos. There's so many pussy pussy videos that we have not seen. Yes, and we are waiting for y'all to tell us when to do them. <laughs> Please. Well, Tool Tuesday is when we're gonna do them. Well, we need to damn. I know we got MJK Tuesdays, but we. Yeah. Need, I want to see what Parable Parabola looks like. Exactly. You know. Yeah. All I just see is that dude like this. I know. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. That's all I see is this dude. I yeah. want to see so long. And it looks like it's just going to be the greatest video of all time. <laughs> Man, y'all have no clue how bad it is. Mouse Shadow said Tool didn't make the snail video. What do you mean a snail video? Snail? Hmm. We did watch the sober video in the early inception of Tool Tuesday. Shan says, do them whenever you want. It's your channel. Shan, listen. <laughs> This is our channel. This is our channel. Jesse Farmer says, I die move out of here. You're in a treat. I'm just going to say this. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're in a treat. I'm just going to just gonna say that. What is the snail video? When I'm, what is this? Oh, snail video snail, for the pot. Snail trail? Uh, I don't think it's snail trail. Oh. Probably not. Wait, what is a snow trail? Isn't that's what is when a that's when the slime they leave. When, when, yeah, when a girl sits on a, a oh, chair. Wait, wait, I'm thinking something different. Yeah. All right, never mind. I didn't. <laughs> damn it, dude, I'm so. Familiar. It could be the trail that a snow leaves. That's what I'm also. thinking. But that's not how it's used these days. Okay. Jibril Godwin says, I just want to say thank you guys for everything you do. I remember I first saw you guys react to Alice in Chains music video, and I remember Hollywood talking about his past addiction. I'm mm. nine months clean. Man, I'm about six. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, I'm about six years, seven years clean, and it was tough, man. And every day, it's a it's an everyday battle. And you know what, man? Shout out to Mama Six. Again, what do you think our best reaction is we've ever done? Like, me and you. Like, what do you think our best reaction is? Huh. Man, that's a tough question. Because our, our most popular videos are not necessarily the ones that we think are the best ones. Yeah. I mean, personally, what is your personal? Mm. Um, Cradle of Filth. Oh, an amphetamine fix. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, the first fall in reverse popular that monster. Was a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna say mine. Thank you, Terriet said it. Simple mm. man. That's my favorite. And now, there's a <laughs> reason course. I say that is because I don't think there's a more genuine dude. I I don't hold my emotions, but when my emotions hit me, I let them show. And I cried. If y'all have not seen The Simple Man, I bawled my eyes out just how much over my mom loved me. I mean, and still loves me. I love my mama, man. But y'all, that's what I think it is. Uh, DM says, Hollywood, have you kicked the squares? I have, but I haven't kicked the nicotine. I have not smoked a cigarette in what? It's been a minute, right? Yeah, wow. Well. I, 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 I am on this. 500,000 subscribers. I'm throwing away the vape. Ken, thank you. Uh, congrats, man. Yeah. 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. That's amazing. Chris Despeck, thank you so much as well. I appreciate that. Ghost Love Score. A lot of people say that, that Ghost Love Score one. is probably... You it. know another one of my favorites? Mm. High Lung. Oh, High Lung was amazing. Yes, dude. <laughs> when that drop came in. Oh, my God. Dude. The that, only thing you love the, is the sword. That, that shit was right, <laughs> bro. Hell yeah. Oh, best that's up from Fear and Blood Storm. Again, shout out to you for all your donations. Great. Thank you. Thank Big you. balls. That was a good one, too. That was a good one. Absolutely. Shane. Amber Howard says, I'm battling depression, and your channel helps me out so much. Amber Howard, uh -huh. listen, we're here to talk. Yeah. It, there's help out there. Hey, if this helps, we're here to watch. Yeah. We're, we're here to help. We'll, we'll help you as much as possible. Absolutely. Keep going, Amber. You got it. Mm -hmm. You got it. 100%. Shout out, Amber. Zeno the Y says, Danny, don't you know, was such a fun reaction because it's not something you see reaction channels even bother with. Oh, we've done a lot that uh, that are like underground songs. But that's what I yeah. that's what separates us from the the other reactors. We yeah. through Patreon through we actually mm -hmm. read the 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 channel. I mean the uh, mm -hmm. comments, and we 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 do like to check out the big songs and do lyrical analysis. But at the same time, we want to see what the underground. How many people I do? Give me an underground band that no one's. 
uh, lucid planet. Lucid planet. How many people have done a lucid planet reaction? <laughs> we may be the only one. We might be the <laughs> funk uh, gorilla time. Gr- sleepy time. Sleepy time gorilla museum. museum. Come on, yeah. man. We we here for the, for y'all, dude. Exactly. I just want to say this is how awesome the trash the trash talkers in the tribe are. Is Stephanie, Krista, and many others have have shown much love to you, Amber. Mm-hmm. You are amongst the community of people that share love. So if you're battling something, you are in the correct place if you want to get it. Yeah. That. Let's let's see uh let's see what this poll says. Is Tool releasing a new album? A lot of people think no. Yeah, 61%. I saw it somewhere. That'd be nice. That would be amazing. Luciaro 007 says, I think your Lincoln Park stuff is awesome. Also, also, if you reacted to LPU. There are some amazing gems there. See? Oh, a- wow. APU? We don't know what that is. LPU? Is that Linkin Park unreleased or something? APU? No, it said LPU. Did it? Oh, LPU. Sorry. Yeah. Hmm. Smokey Vert not in this thing? Yeah. Smokey Vert. What is your Appian of K? What does that mean? I don't know. So Sean Levitt says, what is your Apion of Kevin Parker of Tim? You have to elaborate a little bit on that. Yeah, what do you mean I'm not there? sure what you mean by that. Life of Agony is what... Life of Agony? Well, LOA? That... Did we not do a Life of Agony song? I'm not sure. I think we might have, well, but done... it's been quite some time. We've done a lot. Jeremiah, have you guys done any punk reactions? Absolutely. So oh, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> yeah. How many? How many? Or, or just name <laughs> some. Name some. Uh, we've done a lot of the punk pop, and we've also done a lot of Sex Pistols, yes. or at least three Sex Pistols. I'll say, maybe not a lot, but um, yeah, we've done a ton we've of the done punk the pop. pop. We've uh, done but... Green Day and Blink One Eighty Two, and uh, what did we do recently? Some Forty One. Some Forty One. Yeah, Fat Lip. Yeah. Uh, this dude says, uh, "Shout out Bill Wicked Vogel." He says, "Prong, snap your fingers." <laughs> Hold on, let me catch it. Hey, <laughs> yeah. uh, shout out Jesse Farmer for that ten dollar donation. Greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely, so much for that. Thank you so much for that. Oh, Ian Wood, bro. You know what, man? <laughs> Listen, he already had to say it. He already got to say it. Bro. Look, I'm putting you right here, bro. You Fear Factory. factory. Yes. All right, Ian. Listen, I, I swear to God, dude, I'm putting you. Listen, and e, I'm I'm doing this because Ian has been around from day one. The very first video. The very, the first. very first reaction video we ever did. There was a uh, comment that said, please do Fear Factory. And we did. I think twice. <laughs> yes. Ian, yes. what song would you like us to do by Fear Factory? <laughs> yeah. We, we want to know. We got you coming up, buddy, because you are a loyal son. Hey, if you, when you click on the names in the comments, you might see that Ian is probably one of the top commenters. 100%. Ian, what you he's got? been doing it for oh, three years now. Yeah, and we do have trash talkers in here right now that are taking notes of of mm-hmm. uh, of uh, you know songs that you guys are yes. suggesting. Yes, shout out Vanessa Hunt. That's actually my mom's name, Vanessa. Hey, Is it really? Yeah. yeah, never knew that. What? What's your mom's name? What is her name? Lord have mercy! You don't even know. It. <laughs> Mom, somebody's calling me. Should I answer this on live? I don't know because you got to let them know if they're going to be live. I'm not going to answer that one. Yeah, I'm not going to answer that one. Um, yes, Fugate. Did you see if Ian responded? Stephanie, what you laughing at? Apparently, there's a Fugazi. thing that we've seen. There was a video where we did rock, paper, scissors, and somebody yeah. in the comments says Hollywood has never won a game of rock. Not on live. No. <laughs> Come on. Let's see. Come on. Just win. All right. Let's see if you so can win it's this. It's rock, one. paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Man, God <laughs> dang, dude. Jesus. It's all about reading. All right, Ian said collapse. So, it, all right, it is on Discover, brother. Stick around. And to all our Patreon members, <laughs> we got y'all too. Yeah. So, your factory got you. Prairie Dog, you're right, man. I suck at freaking fear. <laughs> See, Amber Howard. Glad you're laughing. Glad mm-hmm. you're laughing. Bathory, Araya, KP. It's a full moon tonight, really. Shout out Tommy Buzzcat uh, Bar. That dude. Oh, yeah. That is a legend, man. Yeah, he's a G. 
Jeremy Vega says we need more cradle of filth reactions. Well, we need more cradle of filth suggestions. Mm -hmm. I say Tommy watches all of my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure your stuff too. The things that we do outside of the Trash Talkers channel, Buzzcat is always on there, and we love him for that. Yes. Shout out Daniel Toll. Hey, listen, bro. I'm sorry. I can't let you get off like that. I need my rematch. I need it. Come on. All right. I need it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, I got, got him. I got one. Yes. Got one. I thought maybe you were going to switch it up this time because you throw the same things in the same order. I was every thinking time. the same thing about you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Regina. She's on in here. She's a, she's a, a trash talker for real. She says, uh, how hi, will you react to stand up comedians again or not? Absolutely. Yes, we're, yes. Man, we're doing South park. We're doing stand up comedians. We're yeah. eventually going to get into, um, um, uh, movies and stuff. See y'all know. Yeah. So I finally got one. Thank you. Stephanie. Thank you. <laughs> for that about time. Nothing beats spot. God damn, wow. Zen otherwise. Damn. That's amazing. Thank you so much for yeah. that. Thank you for the Zeno is amazing. Zeno, thank you for that $50 donation. Been watching mm -hmm. for a long time and never never done anything about it. So felt like tossing some re retroactive support your way. Wow, that's amazing. Just imagine. I've damn it, hold on, I gotta read this. Just imagine I've been a Patreon for 10 months or something. Maximum the hormone is still one of my oh best. my god, what a song, dude. That was I'll tell you right now, Maximum the Hormone was probably the chunkiest song I'd ever heard. Yeah. as far as like groove metal goes. Zeno, we got you. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot of grittier stuff, you know, when you get into thrash metal, but as far as groove metal. Maximum the hormone. A chunk is yes, that is the the hardest one I've ever heard. Uh Sven says I come to ATL on November 21st for the first time. I meet with some college football buddies, and then I will go to Starkville. Miss when you oh, come to Atlanta, Starkville. Yeah, follow us on Instagram. You come down here, hit us up, man. Starkville is uh that's Mississippi State, I believe, right? Or is it Ole Miss? Not sure. I think it's Mississippi State. Trash talkers, I do want to ask y'all a question though. So I'm about to get tatted the F up. I'm about to get a lot of tattoos. And this is my first time telling you to. I was supposed to tell you this off camera. Okay. I'm about, I'm about to get my hands tatted. Okay. I'm about to get all this tatted. Just, okay. Just want y'all to be aware that there's a lot of tattoos coming soon. Okay. All right. Congratulations. I, well, I'm just saying, because I, I want y'all, I don't, you know what I mean? Like y'all, y'all my family, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. I literally called my mom. I was like, mom, are you okay with me getting hand tattoos? She's like, boy, look at your arms right now. I don't care what you do. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting a, a, a lot more tattoos. Yeah, because this right here bothers me. This bothers me. I hate bare skin. Like, if I'm like this, cool. I hate bare skin. Oh, you are a freaking <laughs> man. I do hate bare skin, though. <laughs> no, I'm okay with bare. Yeah. You're not. Yeah. I prefer it, bare. I don't know. It's better than moose skin. I don't know. Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> bear skin. <laughs> I, I like bear skin rugs, you know. You can do some fun things on them. <laughs> okay, we're talking about two different things. We're talking yeah, about three exactly. different things. You always try. Well, never mind. I, no, you brought it there. <laughs> Marissa said what? She said it puts the lotion in the basket. It puts the lotion on the skin or else it gets the holes again. All right, I'm out this morning. I don't know what the hell y'all talking about today, man. That's from... Uh, um, oh god, head of elector. Um, I've never, uh, is that Sansa? Of of I've Land, never yeah. seen that movie. Really? All I know is Hello Clarice. Hello Clarice, which apparently did he, he actually never, he never said that. I yeah, I think he did. Oh my god, you guys are awesome, man. This is mm -hmm. what Spiral Out Sundays are meant for. Yeah, Gangrene 80. Thank you for the two dollar donation. Some Great. more Great. white zombie, yes. absolutely, of course, man. And shout out to Ken, man, because you sent us some Rob Zombie, yeah. man. For real? I love Rob Zombie, man. I tell you, I saw a good movie this weekend. If you guys have Netflix, check out Bullet Train. And I thought they was they were gonna have Bullet Train, the Iowa, by you know Pussifer on there, but mm. turns out they didn't. But God, that's <laughs> a great movie. Yeah, about, probably so, not about the same topic as Bullet oh, Train. Oh, dude, this Iowa. was a great movie. You would please watch that movie. All right. About to take a Bullet Train. <laughs> watch it to after I watch Iowa the Doors movie. 
This motherfucker said, ain't no turning back like a train. Fuck a track. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Sky. Sky. Ooh, that was boring. He said, bro, you done ingested. There ain't no turning back. F, yeah. a, F, a, F a train. F a track that's sprouting wings. Hello, <laughs> skies. Oh, I yeah. love it, man. Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg was funny. You brought that up. Ooh, that's a comedian, right? Yeah. Yeah, we need to do some of his stuff. He just had like a ton of like one-liner jokes. Like they were crazy and so out there. What do you mean? Uh, I mean, I can't recite. I'd have to look. I can't recite any of them. Like, they're like, oh, rice is great if you want to eat thousands of something. You know, it was just weird <laughs> stuff that he would that say. That made sense. Yeah, it made sense. Yeah, <laughs> it was funny. I got a dad joke for you. I've already he you. said, he said, I used to do drugs. I still do, but I used to also. <laughs> That's great, dude. <laughs> uh, here's a joke for you, dad joke. I don't. Y'all probably gonna make fun of me, but there were two peanuts, right? And they were they were walking down the street, and something bad happened. Do you know what bad happened to these two peanuts? What? One was assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a dad joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dumb rat. <laughs> you gotta laugh at your own joke, man. Yeah, you, I mean. I, they, oh, Zeno knows what's up. Shout out, Zeno. <laughs> top five comedians. Let's see, guys. Who's your top five comedians? All right. My top five. Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy. Mm -hmm. Dave Chappelle. Mm. Uh, Bill Burr. Mm. Y'all going to... God, and probably Cat, Cat Williams, dude. Who you got? I got to put George Carlin in there. Who you got? Oh, I definitely like the, the club. Pryor, Murphy, and... Uh, you said Carlin. I need two more. Yeah, Chappelle. Okay. Um, you got to think, so think about Red Fox. You got to think about Chris yeah. Tucker, Martin Lawrence, Jamie Fox. Yeah, dude. Joe Rogan. Yeah, I like Joe. I mean, Joe's witty, but I wouldn't put him. Robin in Williams. Five. Mark Graves said. Mm, Robin like, Williams. Like, look, look. Yeah, give us some name, guys. I want to see who I would see, put Bill, in number KP five. KP said Bill Burr, and I did put Bill Burr in mine. So Adam yeah. Hamlin. Bill Burr is up there. Chris Rock Ooh, is up there. Chris Rock. Dane Cook. Theo Vaughn. Oh, Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn. He'd be my be number six, it. dude. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely my number six. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Theo Vaughn's a Tom Segura is funny. One of the best podcasts ever on the internet. Just watch Theo Vaughn and Riff Rap. <laughs> and Riff Rap. Thank me later. <laughs> they Thank just said a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> he said, I'm sweating like a gazoom tight. <laughs> What does that even mean? He said, I'm they, they sat there for an hour and a half just telling fake stories about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and it was hilarious. Dude, that was the greatest podcast ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesse Farmer says Fluffy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fluffy's up there. Patrice yeah. O'Neill. Oh, man. Um, what was the big guy? The big guy. Um, Earthquake. No, no. What are you talking about? Uh, Ralphie May. I got to put him Is up that there, fluffy? too. No, no. That's uh, Gabriel Iglesias. Shout out Deanna, by the way. Gabriel Iglesias, Chris Farley. I might put Ralphie May up there. Is that your? I, I'm still waiting on your fifth. Cheech and Chong's in the running. Um, Smoke. Oh, Eddie Griffin. Yeah. Smokey has a problem with ending any list. <laughs> I know because there's so many names I want to put in. So why is it easy? For I'm you going to... with Ralphie May for number five. I don't even yeah. know who that is. We have to do Rash. Yeah, I yeah. he was on Comic View many times. Man, I love this hat. Appreciate that, Ken. Appreciate that. Ain't no turning back like a train sprouting wings. A track. Hello, sky. sky. God, I, I love the way he says sky. I mean, hello, sky. sky. Man, Maynard's a freaking <laughs> legend. Andrew Dice. Uh, Andrew Dice Clay. Dude, why do I want to play that song? <laughs> Jack and Jill went up to hell, both with a buck and a quarter. Bro, Jill came down with 250. Why did she come down with 250? She took Jack's money. All right, so we used to say this as kids. Jack mm -hmm. and Jill went up the hill to get some marijuana. Mm -hmm. Jack got high, unzipped his fly, and said, hey, Jill, you want to? Uh, Jill said yes, unzipped her dress, and now they have a son named Tess. Did y'all do that when you were kids? what? Tess. Nah. Like the wrestler. Remember the wrestler? Is this like a double dutch? Yeah. Uh, Jack and Jill went up the hill to get some marijuana. Yeah. Hey, Jack and Jill got it. There was a ton of those. 
Yeah. Jesse Farmer says, I'm out. All day. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> the jokes, man. This is what Spiral Out Sundays are for, man. Yeah. We just sit here and talk crap with y'all, man. This is awesome. Mm-hmm. Bernie Mac, dude. Yeah, Bernie Mac was a beast. Damn. You need to beat your kids. Jibber Godwin, your top five favorite wrestlers. Who you got? Wrestling. You know I'm wrestling. You know I'm from the South. <laughs> yeah. I see you, Pittsburgh, Toddy. We tribe outcasts, Wu Tang, Deliso, and the Beastie Boys. Mm. Who's your top five wrestlers? Wrestlers. I, uh, I bet I can name this for you Stone Cold, Vader, Raven. I see you, Zeno. Keep, keep uh, Razor Ramon. And, and you see, it's always the fifth one. Yeah, Conan, maybe. Conan, really? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about when I was a kid, who were my favorites. All right, so my five is Sting, the mm-hmm. Crow Sting. Well, Undertaker comes first. Yeah. So Undertaker, Sting. I'm going to go Raven. I'm going to go Mankind. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go probably, probably The Rock. Mm. The Rock. But yeah, oh, good choice. Yeah, Zeno yeah. says before I go Hollywood, you're a gamer, right? My band, my band, and Guitar Hero Two was named Enraged the Calip- Caterpillar. Can you think what that might be? Enraged to? the Caterpillar. God, I know exactly what you're talking about. Damn it, that was a wow. Zeno, educate me, educate me on that one because I, I'm the second you put it in the comments, I'm gonna know what you're talking about. You think so? Blackjack, ooh, we going back. Superfly, Blackjack Mulligan, Randy Savage, and Hulk Hogan. Roman Ramos says, Ray Mysterio, Undertaker, Goldberg, Stone Cold Steen. Damn, that's not a good... Birdman, baby. This Fuji. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fuji. I had a question to you. Huh? Do you think sometimes they don't understand us because of our Southern slang? Sometimes we speak too South. Oh, I bet sometimes. Like, do y'all know what I say? Yeah, do y'all guys ever have a problem understanding us because of the accent? That's a serious <laughs> question. Like, for real, for real. Yeah. Because sometimes I'd be like, no, I'm talking about, like, <laughs> yeah. do y'all even know what that is? Rowdy, Rowdy Pipe, Piper. Was. <laughs> hey, shout out Ross Thomas Stanford. We talked about this early. Dylon, 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 Dylon. Yeah, making the band. So Daniel Toll says, no. Nah. See, we don't say no. Say no. Nah. I mean, we just say no. Yeah. But, nah. Okay. Smokey, you remember Ricky? Of course we remember Ricky Steamboat. Yeah. Okay. So Mike Motormouth understands. All Ricky right. the Dragon Steamboat. Y'all yank. That match with uh, Macho Man at WrestleMania 3 was a classic. I don't hear no really. And I will say, in front, when we're on camera, we do try to speak. We, we try to enunciate more. Yeah, we do. But yeah. if y'all just. Sometimes we get carried away, though. If y'all hung around me and Smokey without the camera, you'd be like, what the <laughs> yeah, hell are you y'all might not. <laughs> you might not get half of what we said. <laughs> what the hell are y'all talking about? <laughs> not the accent. Oh, Tor- Terry Ertz says not the accents, but more the Southern references. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I could imagine. Smoke. Eric, Eric Ludinger asked for a smoke. We need that savage. Come on. Come on. Give me a savage line. Come on. Come on. Hold on. What do you do? Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Right. Um, Hogan. Um, the cream rises to the top. Yeah. Uh-huh. Dig it. Yeah. Uh, how much methamphetamines have you <laughs> A <been> lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jesse Farmer says he's... Kane was, yes, we do know that, Smokey. Oh, wow, you're from Tennessee, man. Mm. Man, I can't wait to, one day we have to make him. I loved up. Kane. Kane was, I liked Kane more than The Undertaker. Didn't we, John Ladd said try Devo. Didn't we do Devo? We did a Devo song, yeah. Isn't that, whip- or did we just do the cover that, that uh, Maynard did? Yeah. Whip it, whip it good. Burn we didn't it. do whip it. Though. Isn't that Devo though? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Do, 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 do. Hey, <laughs> it's the final countdown. <laughs> it's, you know, Beat down. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what uh Mark Short says, what band would you guys love to see live? Cheers from Toronto. Mm. What's a band you like? I I'm I, oh, I have to Rob see Zombie. Okay, I have to see Pussifer. Put ties between Pussifer Perfect Circle. Yeah, AJ Styles, Brian, Brian Danielson, uh, Okada, that's a Japanese wrestler, Undertaker, and Austin. Good list, Erion. Yeah, Thank you so absolutely. much for that donation. 100%. That Okada headbutt. Tommy says, Monster Truck. Oh, what you know about the Grave Digger? Grave Digger. What you know about the Grave Digger? That's some Atlanta <laughs> yeah. right there. 
Uh, Cal- uh, North Carolina. Oh, North Carolina. Well, yeah. yeah. Zeno the Wise says, Trash Talkers, do either of you have the Golden Wrestler collectible cards from magazine subscription service back in the late 90s? I'd be willing to sit. No, but I did have wrestling cards I did back too. in the 90s. Did you have the ones with the bubble gum in it? Yeah. Bruh, yeah. That, I got, man. Feel free I remember to all the garbage belt kids had bubble gum in it. Actually, that was how they sold cards. That's what trading cards came from. Is it was bubblegum companies, tops and tops, you know, yeah. um, whatever the other ones were, but uh Don Russ, they were bubblegum companies, and how they sold their bubblegum was to put a trading card in there, yeah. And then they started just making packs of trading cards and they would throw the gum Bubble, in there just yeah, to get rid of the gum. Okay, exactly. Because people wanted the, the cards as a commodity yeah. even more. I would like a pack of old. I bet if you got a Marissa, what's Christ? What are we talking about? Marissa's like, this probably is going off of what are we talking about? <laughs> we don't know. We're on bubblegum wrestling. <laughs> we went from Gorilla Monsoon and freaking <laughs> take a bullet train to Tammy C. What's up with you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, scroll up. Hold on. Are you, Marissa, send, send the name so we know what to look at exactly. Yeah. Sean Laboo says the what? gum stained cards. That was right. That that the absolutely stained gum stained cards. I heard something totally different. I know you did. How you did heard you... what you wanted to hear? Okay, Crash P. Let's see what Crash P says. Have you guys? Man, what the hell? What is that? Oh, <laughs> Crash. P. Um, <laughs> Look, do we be honest? Come on, can we? You want to be honest right now? <laughs> be honest. I don't even know what honest is. What is it? I mean, be honest. Keep it real. Have we ever explored what another's? <laughs> No, no, <laughs> heck no. You think I want to see this fool? Naked? It's gonna lie about it. Heck no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's my dog and all, but bro, I got three bathrooms. You better pick another one, man. You better pick hey, one. Buddy, move over, man. Not, yeah, hey, you're man. too close already. Look, this right here makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm joking. It's my dog, but no, we have not. Absolutely not. Mm-mm. Tammy C says, My question is, what is your favorite reaction so far this year? And it's only 2023. Think mm, about this year. This year. Oh, one of them hasn't came out yet, so I can't say that one. So who is it? Oh, I'm going to look at the list. Who, who is it? Yeah. Damn, say. good question, Tammy C. Let's see. Right who's, our, who's our... Oh, it's a Patreon one? Yeah. Get off there. Back to take a bullet train to Ayahuasca. Yeah, so okay, God, okay. I love this song. Oh, I know what yours is. What? Stevie oh, Nicks. 100% Stevie Nicks. Uh, yeah. Edge of 17. That is my favorite reaction so far of 2023. 100% Tammy. Let's see what mine is. What you got? Looking, looking. Oh, I There's think some I, good ones in here. Yeah, I think I might know what you might go with. Oh, Ramstein. I America? knew you were about to hit yeah. that one. Is that it? That might be it. Mine's is definitely Stevie Nicks, Edge of 17 so far. Man, Stevie Nicks didn't win, man. Wait, can we see the <laughs> votes on that? Because it hasn't, I haven't posted that yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. So, where's Stevie? All right, so. Is, is you looking for Stevie Nicks? Yeah. It's down here. All right, so. Where's this? Because uh, she's in the competition uh, for best front man for ours. Oh, uh, there it is. All right, so Stevie Nicks has got how many votes? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stevie Nicks has 638 votes, okay? Yeah. Now, who's she going up against? Exactly who's she going up against? That's Mick Jagger, right? Yes, that's who she's going up against. All right, so who? Wait. Six hundred. Well, it hasn't been seven days yet. So it hasn't, hasn't come out yeah, yet. Yeah, it's not over yet. Well, Chester, neck versus, neck right Chester versus Lynn. Lindman. Who, who won that one? Can Till. You, Till won that one? Yeah. Um, Emo, I wish I could say your name, but it's a bunch of letters. Um. I did put out something today that I had to delete because it came out too early and I meant to put it till, but I put Mick Jagger and the, the voting isn't over yet for Mick Jagger versus Steve. Oh, Riggs. did you, oh, you put out the wrong I one? I put Mick Jagger, but uh, vote, it hasn't been said. Yeah. Um, let's see. Till has, let me get this ad off here. Just like the, what does she say there? Till like, has a 825. And Chester has how many? And Chester has oh, 469. Wow. Double yeah. almost. Yeah, Till got So him. Till moves on. The t- mm-hmm. Tell them how it goes. So, Well, each week we do a matchup on Fridays. And we'll have one contestant in the morning, one contestant in the evening. And it's for the overall body of work for that artist who is the greatest frontman or woman. So we go back and look at the likes on each video at the end of seven days. And 
whoever has the most likes for that entire week goes on in the tournament to the next round. Right. And at the end, we will crown who you guys have voted for the as the best front man of all or front woman. man or woman of all time. And and Stevie, I know, I know, <laughs> no, I know. I just love you Stevie. always trying to sway the votes. Uh, Jibril says, Trash Talkers, out of the grunge vocalists, who would you consider to be your favorite? I'm gonna I, listen, I'm gonna go against the consensus here. Go, I want to hear okay. what you're gonna say. No, you go first, please. I think it's it's gotta be Lane. <laughs> okay, I love Lane to death, and I know I've said I, I would let Lane sl uh, sl sing me to sleep. Mm -hmm. I know I've said that. Um, it's either Lane or Chris for me. All right. Y'all feel me on this. All right, I want to see. You're going to say Eddie better. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Of course, man. Just yeah, I get it. I get it. Y'all, is that bad? I mean, Lane has a beautiful voice. And there's top, there's three people I would be okay with listening to their music go sleep Sade, Aaliyah, and Lane Staley. Mm -hmm. But if you had asked me my favorite, it's got to be Eddie, man. It's mm -hmm. got to be Eddie. Of what was everything? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, somebody told me that. Oh, well, she's somebody said all the B words said. So, of what was everything? All the bitches said. Tattoo. I think they heard you anyway. That, that's not what he said, is I, it? If y'all, I mean, it's okay to say that word, right? It's oh, yeah. Already. yeah, you're not calling anybody that. Yeah, doesn't does he say that? Does he says of what was everything? All the bitches said tattooed everything. Does he say bitches? <laughs> I doubt it. All the bitches said, or all the bitch, all the bitches said of what was everything. All the all the pictures said. Oh, all the pictures had. But how? What does that mean, though? All the pictures had. What when he says tattooed everything? So how does the pictures? How are the pictures tattooed? Uh, hey, you what? tattoo pictures. How do you do that? <laughs> you got pictures tattooed on you right now. Of what was everything? All the pictures had. Tattoo. We need to bring up the lyrics. I don't get it. Any love for Scott Weiland in the in the grunge community? That's what I want to know. Does anyone have squat Scott squat squat? Yeah. Does anyone have Scott Weiland as their number one grunge singer? I can I keep her? Is it me or do I just look for Tommy, Shan, Linda, and like? Marissa and like five other trash talkers when it comes to grunge. Like I just look for them because like I know they're, they're, they're they they know what they're talking about. I mean, there might be a an I'm, expert. Yeah, there. I'm sure there is. Mm -hmm. I mean, just they've been around the longest. <laughs> you, you put SD David says SDP is more alternative. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That song, uh, uh, damn, how's it go? Uh, Velvet Revolver. Oh, how's the oh. STP song go? Uh, Which one? It's one of my favorite songs, bro. Uh, God was it? I am smelling no, like a no, rose on my birthday. That's not stone. Yeah, that's not stone. Yeah, y'all, what's the stone? No, cause I no. Wait, no. Wait, yeah. I'm half the man I used to be. Every in the dawn of <laughs> every word in that every like grunge you gonna do foreign v. <laughs> <laughs> every word in every grunge song has an R in it. All right, they yeah. could say but but be bird <laughs> bird <It's> I couldn't <laughs> <R. laughs> <laughs> oh, what was every <laughs> all Flash, are here yeah. that's who would ever hear <laughs> I am smelling like, like a rose on my birthday. Yeah, we did that on your birthday. I am. Yeah, we? yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Damn, we've been on here for an hour and three minutes. All right, we got to <laughs> no. go, man. Peter Steele was a great singer. See, we could do this Absolutely. all Absolutely. God, I wish we could do this all night, man. Mm -hmm. I wish we could I do know. this all night. Yeah, unfortunately, we got more work to do. Yes, we got more work to do.
At least we didn't devolve into silliness like we usually do. Yeah. <laughs> the best time. We're usually talking about farts in a jar. Dude, or, or no, the sock. <laughs> the sock. <laughs> that was amazing. Talking about the sock. Yeah. Chris Speck, salute. Man, shout out to all the trash talkers. Shout out to all the tribe. Thank you guys yeah. so much for hanging out with us on this Spiral Out Sunday. If you're here, please hit that thumbs up button. And yes. guys, be ready for If you're a Patreon member, you already know what's going to come out tomorrow. <laughs> Mike the Motor Mouth. With the only farts. Only farts. <laughs> That was great. Only parts I caught. But yes, yeah. Zeno, we're working on the Discord link. Trust me, we might need someone to moderate that because we're extremely busy with the channel and Patreon. Mm -hmm. But um, yes, guys, stick around. Um, of course, you know, follow us on both on Instagram. Um, also follow us on our Facebook page if you guys want to vote on Tuesday with the tribe. And we've got a lot more things coming. We've got new tiers coming on Patreon. We've got new videos coming out this week that we think you guys are going to love. Again, shout out to our Patreon supporters. And guys, yeah. thank you at the end of the day. At the end of the day. Mm -hmm. thank you absolutely for everything yes absolutely 100 percent. with that being said my name's behringer hollywood six bye i am larry smokey ramirez Kelly. and we are lover and out deuces i am smelling like a rose